What's going on everybody? Uh, this video is going to be the first in a series I am entitling Avoid the Stealer Ship. Showing you guys how to do uh, basic maintenance and uh, saving some money and not having to go to the uh, dealership slash stealer ship. Uh, last time I actually got my oil changed, one of the local uh, Jiffy Lubes, you know, Valvoline, one of those places. Uh, they said it was almost time for my rear differential, front differential oil changes uh, since I have a 4x4. And they were going to charge about 80 or 90 bucks uh, per axle to do those. So I figured, uh, you know, I did a little online research and it seems like a pretty straightforward job. So I'm going to do it myself and save a little money and show you guys just how easy it is. Uh, this isn't really a how-to video per se. Uh, I just pretty much want to show you that I am not a trained mechanic or anything like that. As long as you have basic, uh, you know, mechanical skills, anyone should be able to do this and save a little money. And like this title says, you can avoid the stealer ship. So I'm just doing the rear differential today because I actually have a skid plate I need to take off to get to the front differential. And I'm going to be, uh, you know, repainting that and everything uh, later. So I'm going to get to that one in the next few weeks, uh, weather permitting. So today, uh, assuming you already have all the other tools, the only thing you really need to purchase for this uh, is the motor oil. Uh, for the differential, which is 75W90. I know they recommend a uh, different weight if you have, uh, you know, rig gear or if you do any kind of a towing or uh, hauling, but I don't. So I'm just going with the 75W90, like the Toyota manual says. I'm going with Mobile One. These are about $12.99 each, so I got four of them just because you need uh, three quarts plus a little bit extra it's like 3.15 something like that so i'll obviously have some extra so uh so just for the uh, price of the oil you know you're looking at uh, 46 bucks or so so that's already saving me 50 dollars. i did have to buy some of this other stuff including the uh the uh the hand pump to get the oil in there because it's sort of an odd angle just to uh, pour it in i got this uh crush bracket set on Amazon. This is actually for both the rear differential, front differential, and transfer case. So I'm set when I do those videos in the future. This whole thing was like six bucks. I did have to purchase a uh, the uh, the nuts for the uh, fill plug and drain plug for the rear differential and front differential on my 2014 Tacoma are uh, 15 sixteenths or 24 millimeter, I believe. So I did have to buy one of these. That was another six bucks. And I got a uh, torque wrench on sale for $25 at AutoZone or Advanced Auto Parts. So, uh, I'm actually going to... Actually heading over to my parents to do this, because you do have to be on level ground, and I don't have a garage. So, I will see you in the garage. Okay guys, I am now parked at, uh, on the driveway on level ground. I actually uh, obviously just drove over here, which is uh, definitely uh, I'd recommend. Uh, if you drive your car for a little while before you uh, attempt this, it just makes it easier to uh, for the oil to pour out because it's heated up, obviously. Uh, you don't have to, but like I said, once you have the, uh, the drain and fill plug open, it'll uh, come out a lot faster. So uh, the next step, I'm just going to loosen the uh, fill plug first, which is the one you see right there on the top. Uh, the reason you should do the fill plug first is... If you take the drain plug off first on the bottom and all the oil comes out and if you cannot get the fill plug off well you're uh, you're kind of in a crappy situation so it's usually more of an issue on uh, older vehicles especially if you're living in an area where they put a lot of road salt down etc where the uh, the bolt can uh, definitely be hard to get off I've got some of this uh, PB blaster just in case but I don't think I'll need it so I'm gonna take it off and we'll go from there Okay guys, I have uh, loosened both the uh, fill plug and the drain plug, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, take that one off by hand just in case some, anything spills out. Like I said, these are both uh, 15 sixteenths or 24 millimeter sockets, which uh, for mine fits a half inch drive. Alright, nothing leaking out. I'm going to do the other one. Uh, this bottom, uh, the fill, uh, the drain plug is magnetic, so you're always supposed to check for metal shavings. Uh, it should be look a lot like a, like pencil lead or something. Anything bigger, you might have a problem. So, 
Okay, as you can see, it's very uh, dark, nasty, where usually it's like a golden brown color. So I will let that drain for a while. Having the uh, fill plug open while you're doing this makes it a lot faster. So I'll uh, come back when that's finished. See you in a Just real, real quick while this is draining, this is the magnetic uh, drain plug. You can see just some small shavings on there, nothing big. And you can see this small piece is the uh, crush washer. You uh, definitely need to reinstall for both this plug and the other. Okay, guys, this is all drained out. I'm putting the uh, the fill or the uh, the drain plug back in. I've got the new uh, crush gasket, crush washer on there. It's gonna get it uh, hand tight right now, and then come back and torque it after I get the oil in there. Okay, that's on there nice and good. All right, guys, I'm getting ready to uh, put the new uh, oil in. I just wanted to show you a quick comparison with the old oil, which is just dark, almost black, dark, dark brown, and the new oil, which uh, just has a barely yellowish, light, light brown tint, as you can see. This is after about, I want to say I'm at 23, 24,000 miles, so I think they actually recommended at 30,000 miles to change it, but just wanted to show you that comparison real quick. So now I'm going to begin the uh, lengthy process of hand pumping this stuff back into the uh, rear differential. I'm not going to record the whole thing, obviously. Just wanted to uh, get it started, and I'll come back when I'm sealing everything up. All right, guys, I'm not going to show you the whole process, but I have my hand pump uh, connected to the first quart. And this is the uh, by far the longest process. You just fill this up until it barely starts leaking out of the fill hole, and it should be just over three quarts. So I will see you when I'm all done and have everything torqued up. Okay guys, uh, you uh, fill the rear differential until you see it's barely starting to leak out, like barely trying uh, to drip out. Uh, if you have too little or too much uh, fluid in the rear differential, it can cause damage, so that is what you want right there. So I'm going to wipe this off and seal everything up. Alright guys, I'm done with the uh, rear differential oil change. I'm driving home, sitting here at a light. <clears throat> I just wanted to go over a few things of my thoughts after the, uh, the whole procedure. Um, it is definitely a pain in the ass uh, hand pumping that oil. Honestly, I don't think I've pumped my hand that much since I was 13 years old, so I might look into a uh, some different, I don't know if there's an easier way, some kind of electronic pump to uh, get the oil in the rear differential, because that literally took 10 minutes just to uh, <clears throat> pump that oil in there by hand, so that's definitely a pain in the ass. Uh, second thing, might be a little uh, obvious, but it's sort of a like a messy exchange when you're uh, switching from the, the pump in between the quarts of oil. So I did not have all the uh, the quarts open and ready to go, so I would definitely recommend doing that. Have them all lined up right next to the differential uh, just to save yourself some hassle because I had a little, nothing crazy, but a little oil to clean up on the floor uh, afterwards. So that's, that's just a pain in the ass. Uh, other than that, it's very straightforward. Just remember, remember to take your time. Do not overfill, uh, do not underfill the rear differential. Uh, don't forget to put the uh, crush gasket or crush washer on both the fill and drain plug when you're uh, attaching them back on. And uh, when you retorque them, for my 2014 Tacoma, it's 36 foot pounds uh, on the torque wrench. Make sure that's uh, good to go. Uh, other than that, it's a simple, uh, simple maintenance you can do. Save yourself a ton of money, so I probably at least saved myself 50, 60 bucks. I did have to buy some of the tools and equipment that I did not have, but obviously next time I will not have to do that and just have to get the oil. So uh, I definitely recommend you guys uh, check this out. Like I said, I'll be doing a few more in this series called Avoid the Steeler Ship. Uh, next video will probably have to do with the either the transfer case or the uh, front differential once I get my skid plate off when the weather warms up. So thanks for stopping by. If this is your first time, please uh, subscribe and give the video a thumbs up. Stay tuned.